Starting with the 2006 Dyna models, the motor company began to install this automatic primary chain tensioner on all big twin models. It carried over to the dresser and soft tails in 07. What we've got here is a display that basically shows what you're going to find inside an 07 and later dresser primary. This is our twin power 34 tooth comp eliminator which takes the place of the stock compensating sprocket. We've got a twin power stock style clutch hub and shell on twin power primary chain and again the factory Harley Davidson automatic chain tensioner. In a performance application where you have larger motors or hard shifting rapid decel uh, for example running the bike on the dyno what happens is when you decelerate this chain gets a loose spot in it and this tensioner will automatically ratchet up and push that chain tighter that in turn kind of pulls these shafts together and you can get some premature wear on your primary transmission and engine bearing you can see how tight that chain is to combat these problems we've introduced the twin power tension reliever manual primary chain tensioner there are two part numbers. 216094 fits the 07 to 16 dresser models, and 216093 fits 06 to 16 Dyna and 07 to 16 Softail models. Let's see what it takes to install one of these babies. It's pretty simple. First step, we're gonna take a plastic cable tie. We're gonna install it around this tensioner to keep it in a retracted position. I kinda work it in there around that roll pin, around that little plastic tang like so. Then, using a half inch socket, we're gonna remove the stock mounting hardware. Okay, we've got the stock tensioner out. The tension reliever uses a 3 8 adjustment bolt and a 9 16 lock nut. Now, in order to get easier access, you may want to take an inexpensive wrench and grind it down on the thickness and the sides like we've done to this one. This way you can get in there and turn this thing easy to adjust it. Now, later this year, we're actually going to be introducing this special thin-headed adjustment wrench. Let's get this thing installed and see what it takes. We're going to go ahead and reuse the stock hardware. Go ahead and apply some of your favorite thread locker to the bolts. We're going to put these in just like stock. You're going to want to torque these bolts to 15 to 19 foot-pounds, just like the factory. You take the wrench of your choice and run that adjustment screw out. You want to do this adjustment when everything is cold, and we're looking for 5 8 to 7 8 free play midway between the sprockets, again, at the tightest point. Here's your 5 8 to 7 8 just like that. Again, let's, let's turn this thing over, make sure we're at the tight spot. You can see the adjustment's about the same throughout. Now that we've got this adjustment where we want it, we're going to go ahead and lock it down. I'm going to run this lock nut down with my finger. I'm going to take our 3 8 wrench, hold that steady. Slip in here with a 9 16 wrench and just go ahead and get that good and snug, like so. Okay, we're good. Now you're going to want to go ahead and reinstall your primary cover with a new gasket and refill with the factory recommended primary fluid to the factory recommended capacity. Now you're going to want to check this every 5,000 miles or so. Of course, it does require removal of the outer primary cover to do so. If you find after the first 5,000 miles you're pretty good, you might even be able to stretch that interval out to about 10,000 miles. Um, factory service manual says five, so we'll go with five, but use your judgment. Thanks for watching.